it looks like you're heading into the building, but you're not, obviously. But no, it's pretty cool, like how usual golf courses, I say, aim at that tree. Uh, this week was like aim at the corner of that building. Um, I just think it's really fun. And I love the greens here. I think the greens are always in great condition. Um, the whole golf course is in you know, superb condition. And uh, it's just fun to come out and play here because you weather's usually pretty good. Um, it's a bit cloudy today, I'm going to go and walk back a bit. But um, no, I, I just enjoy it. I think it's a great event. Charlie, can I ask you the flip side to Joy's question? What advice would you have for the two girls being in this position coming into this week? And um, what did that Rookie of the Year win do for you for the following year going forward? Yeah, I'd say don't really think about it to be honest. I know they're going to ask questions about it now, but you've just got to go out there and play golf. At the end of the day, you're here to win a tournament. So if you win the tournament, it's going to clear up the Rookie of the Year. Was that an easy thing to do? To put it out of your mind, is it an um, easy thing to do? Yeah, I, I have to. You always ask a question, but you've not really got to think about it as much as, well, you don't want to be obsessed about it. Um, when you're on the golf course, you just got to be thinking one shot at a, golf, uh, one shot at a time. And uh, that's what, what I've done. Javi, how, how would you sum up your year 2015? I'd say this year I've played some of my best golf. Um, for me, I know I haven't won anything, but I'd say for me, this is my best year. I've had quite a few um, top tens, um, and I've played really well in America because it's my first year on the LPGA tour. And I went to Q School last year, and I didn't play that well for LPGA. And then I finished top ten in my first event, and then I progressed throughout the year. And to get myself into the events in Asia that I played in, and then finish a <coughs> top five finish over there as well, felt good. And especially with uh, changing my golf coach in January change my swing so I'm pretty buzzed with the way I played. I just want to kind of follow up on what Joey was saying there really that once you become rookie of the year things come thick and fast after that don't they? The order of the Merit Solheim Cup as well. Does it all kind of become a bit of a rush after that that so many things become open to you and available? Yeah definitely like I actually still feel like I'm a rookie it's really weird and um, but it was like two years ago since I was uh, obviously sat here probably in this press conference up being asked about being win the Rookie of the Year, but um, time flies and it's a good stepping stone, you know, to tick that off on your list and, um, you know, it inspires you, you want to practice more of a Christmas <coughs> and win something next year and it is for me. In terms of uh, Rookie of the Year for you, do you